throughout this season. And 145 to runners in scoring position. But this guy, you talked to guys racking up games and appearances that just haven't had them throughout their career. Has been a guy who has piled up appearances out of the pen previous harms in that Orioles pen. Stand down on strikes again. And brought to you by Infinity. Stand over for three. Donaldson fights that off. Down the right. Headed to second and in safely with his. Does a good job of fighting this one off and a good job of hustling out of the box. You see him head down out of the box. Score position for your teammates. Great job by Josh Donaldson. Playing the game the way it's supposed to be. Uh, you know I would love to. A okay. hard 90. It, it's not that hard to do. What you can do is come out here in front of the fans, whether it's a routine hour, routine play 90. Those are the things that get me up out of my seat that get me excited. So, you know, routine now, busting his tail, getting the second, even if the ball's called. Those those things go a long way, you know. And you're saying 90 like the 90 feet 90 from feet. home to first. Yep. You know, whacked an RBI double. Deep to right center field. The 1-1. One -one. Trevino takes over the inside corner. One Grounds this one to short. Mateo on to first. That will set the stage for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Donaldson does a little pant leg adjustment. Did you notice sanitary? It's, I mean, it's his thumb guard. I mean, it's inside one and one on Kiner Falefa. You know, it's funny. First few months of Evie's life. Court, the athletes of Corky, we do crazy things. I mean, obviously we I have. I really can't. So Josh Donaldson, a different a different breed. Kinder of Falefa grounds that foul. Is that? Yeah. But what, what was that again, Meredith? What did you you looked it up? What is that? And then we saw him huffing oxygen. <laughs> We're learning Getting a lot. Getting him back quicker, recovering quicker. Kiner Falefa whips it up the middle of base. Yeah, by IKF swinging a really hot bat in the last 30. 12 runs, 16 RBI. Lead is now 6-2 as Kiner Falefa nearly took off. Driving in the 17th RBI right there. This guy continues to stay within himself. Kid, IKF continues to do for the Yankees. Now the interesting thing is, if Grable's glove at that time. Kiner Falefa running, throw down, in time. As Kiner Falefa's cut down, but not before, he increases the score to 6 2. Years to come. I was talking to Kevin Brown, you see, a little while ago, saying, Don't let the lack of throwing out runners thus far fool you. He said his players dropped the ball, some weird's happening. He's like, He is going to throw out runners. And yeah, we've seen that tonight. And, and guys are getting really good jumps, uh, you know, have, have a really good lead and getting it off the pitcher. So. And Chapman, obviously, in an ideal scenario, they both end up. Well, deals ball one. Britain waiting in the wings as well. He falling off the table, then 97 with some run. And, and this is a guy who, if he trusts this stuff, just 11 pitches to throw a scoreless eighth inning. Fly ball center field, just. feet worth of home runs tonight from Aaron Judge. He's also, like I said, he's, he's really done a good job of showing just how athletic he really is. I don't think people realize. I remember a, a couple years ago just talking to, oh, you're going to have to move him to first base soon, though, huh? And I was like, excuse me, have you seen this man play the outfield? When I look at Aaron Judge, and he reminds me so much of Dave Winfield. and. And I don't know, if, you know, Dave Winfield type. There's a strike. Be with him when I was with the Padres, and he was in their, you know, special system for them, and he feels way big. Ball four before the wall was moved in. And you know what? Watching growing up, and my dad used to show me highlights all the time. Dave Winfield and 
you know. You know, Winfield played some center field as well. The 0 1. That's line to left center field. That ball's going to get down. This is a nice swing by Rudin Odor, staying on this two seamer. But a really good job of taking this to left center for a stand up double. The stand up double. Sans helmet is Odor. And it's second and third. The guy. that we saw last season was not quite here and then the one yesterday but in some trouble here with second and third and just want to the fourth taps one off his foot 0-1 gotten more bearable as it has moved into night so anybody watching today knows because the heat wave is extending across the entire country. Tapped weakly to the right side. LeMayhew gets to it. Nice play from DJ. Play by DJ LeMayhew. Ranging to get this ball. Nice sliding stop. Ahead, 0-1, 0-2. You know, you know, I don't care that they score right there, but still. Mateo shows bunt and offer. 0-1. I think Foster's right. Lined right to LeMayhew. And that will end the inning. The Orioles score. Welcome back to Camden Yards as the Yankees lead the Orioles 6-3 to three as we head. That kind of game, right, where you're anticipating the judge at bats. You see 4-36 and just, just destroyed as LeCastro 4-65. The footage on the judge. The judge has never. I'll tell you what, with the pace that he's on this season, I wouldn't put anything behind that man right now. I'm sure he has one coming <laughs> at some point. Castro pops it up. Left side. It's funny you say the pitch to friend Al Carthal, his father and his brother Nolan. Because they're diehard Orioles fans. For something to send that message. Now Gallo drills one to center field. Mo A big walk to start the first rally. His 12th of the season. And it extends the Yankee lead to 7-3. And many homers not giving up too much damage. Like you said, Ryan, Joey Gallo. See, I've been a three-run homer. And right now, homer to center. Homer later in the inning, Judge saying, hey, that's you. That's you. You kept the inning alive. And now this. Exactly. And we good job. Eyes down on contact. And he's showing up. Joey Gallo giving thanks. I know that. I think back to what you talked about, Cameron, with him. Positive and hungry. You know, it's only a matter of time when you have a guy like Aaron Judge behind you. You know, it's good. 2-1 on LeMay here with Judge on the field. Hundred nine point four off the bat of Gallo. And guess what? He's walked again. Devin for Aaron Judge. He's going to get the assignment. Judge with two bombs already tonight. And he has never had a three home run game. Strike one. Judge has done this tonight, being behind the count on some help from Marty Foster. Yeah. Both at bats. Bounced up there, one and one. Wow. That ball was way out. Against a guy who's hit two homers, so he's seeing the ball. He knows what the strike zone looks like. And Marty Fault. Fouls that away down the right field. If I, line. If I was Baker, I. It's two and two. Boy, I mean, just every swing. 901 feet of home runs thus far this evening. 3-2. Good call, Cam. Went to the cutter and got him.
just hits through five. I mean, you, you see that. How about this, Cam? We saw the Yankees did those off first. Two and one. Now, if you're wondering, what's the record for most by the Chicago Colts back in 18? Rizzo trying to find a hole and does. Sneaking into right field a bit. First and second now, two out. And then another shirt. I mean, he layers up, and I tell you, doesn't matter what the weather is. Now with temperature. Stanton grounds it to Odor, and that 